High school students are protesting what they say is an unfair suspension, but it's not another student in trouble. It's their science teacher. KCONLINE's Jeff Nguyen spoke with the students and the teacher to find out what exactly happened. Mr. Schiller! Students at Ramon Cortinez School of Visual and Performing Arts are gearing up to hold a silent protest before school tomorrow and Friday in support of their science teacher who's been put in what's known as teacher jail. We're going to be wearing duct tape over our mouths and a sign that says we will not speak until we reinstate Schiller. The kids have been wearing t-shirts and buttons with this logo for Greg Schiller. Has the district formally told you why you're in teacher jail? But in writing, no. I have not received a formal written note as to why I'm in teacher jail. Today, the district sent us a statement reading, there is an ongoing investigation, therefore we cannot comment. It is the practice of the Los Angeles Unified School District to reassign an employee to a non-classroom setting when there are allegations related to student safety. Schiller suspects he's being disciplined because of two projects his students submitted for a science fair in February. The entries were pulled before they could be judged. Okay. Here we go. One of them was an air cannon similar to this one demonstrated to President Obama in this White House video. Oh! A second banned entry was an electromagnetic coil gun, which Asa Ferguson submitted, but his work was confiscated. It has appliances in roller coasters and in spaceships. It's been theorized to be able to launch spaceships in space for cheaper. We found a similar project received an honorable mention in last year's L.A. County Science Fair. Ferguson believes the word gun caused his project to get pulled. I think that if I had said that it was a electromagnet propulsion system, it would have not been taken out. While Schiller sits in teacher jail, his students have to prepare for the advanced placement exams that are weeks away without his help. Potentially, if they don't do well in the AP test, because I'm not there to help them, this may affect the university that they get accepted to. In downtown Los Angeles, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.